that. Kisses all around. Hey guys, what is up? Okay, that was disgusting. So I already have um, my base on because I didn't feel like taking it off. And ugh, this thing is choking me. I didn't feel like taking off my makeup, so I decided to leave the base on and just do my eyes on camera because I'm doing a cut crease, as you guys can see by the title. Um, Am I good at cut creases? Oh, my finger just popped. No. To answer that question, no. I am not good at cut creases, so I'm going to try, and you guys are going to see me fail. Okay, I kind of look stupid with this hoodie. <laughs> the shirt's gonna come up. Um, if it does. Oh. Okay, you didn't see my bra. So, without further ado, let's see me fail this. <laughs> that was so loud. Using the Modern Renaissance palette, um, I think I might use the tart the oh that was upside down the Tartlet Toasted palette because I want to spice things up a little bit. <laughs> this is what this palette looks like if you have never seen it before. Oh my gosh, I almost just dropped that. Should I do this? Should I do a tutorial? All right, so. My eyes are already primed and set and all that other extra stuff, so I'm going to use um, the Morphe M518 brush while I'm such a beauty guru. And I'm going to dip into the shade, this one, I don't know how to pronounce that because I need to go to school, but it's that purple shade. Right there, and I'm gonna put that as my base. And we're just going, I should probably use a little mirror so I'm not looking up the whole time, you know, you feel me? So, we're just going to put that as a base on the top of my crease. All right, now using the, br the Morphe M513 brush, I'm going to be dipping into love letter and I'm going to be putting that in my crease and I think since I do have hooded eyes I think I'm going to put it up a little bit like put it further up not in my crease now taking the more the Morphe M51 brush I'm going to be using or getting the purple shade again purple shade and I'm putting it above where I put my crease so I get that color back and I'm just going to blend it in and now I'm taking the brush that I used for my crease which was the Morphe M513 brush I'm going to be taking this shade right here so I'm using the red one the one that has the V with the red with the words this is why we need to get our education kids because we can't spell well at least I can't I mean I can't read oh my see school is good a little bit oh I'm going to take this Morphe brush, it doesn't have the number to it because I um, kind of got the um, off brand, I think. I don't know, my mom got me this. It's the brushes that I got for Christmas, so don't come for me. So, yeah. I'm just going to blend all the colors together so that it, there's no any, there's no harsh lines. Okay, and now I think it's time to cut the crease. So I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Femi Concealer almost out of it 
We love that. And I'm going to be taking the Morphe M432 brush. And this is also the hard part because this is where I mess up. So get ready for it, boys and girls. Okay, my eyes are burning and I don't know if that's a good... My eyes are burning. Oh my god. Let's just, let's just set it. So I'm going to add the candle shimmer from the toasted tartlet palette. But this brush, it's a Morphe brush, has no numbering, but it's a flat brush. And I'm going to use that to add the glitter. And I'm just going to be wetting it with rose water. This probably turned out really sh oh my god it probably did i'm going to add my lashes and i'm using the lily lashes okay so there's one eye complete and as this went off um, okay but yeah i think i did pretty good i mean compared to other people I don't think so, but compared to me, I mean, sis, you're rocking it. Okay, I'm gonna go do the other eye off camera, and I'll see you guys when I'm beautified. I did it. Oh my gosh, I am so happy with how the results turned out. Like, oh my god. Anyway, everything just turned out so good and I am very happy because if it didn't, I was going to have a mental breakdown. Literally. Who is she? Who is she? We don't know. Megan is no longer here. It probably does look like shit, but don't, don't bring me down because I'm just happy. Like, it actually came out really good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming on this journey with me. Didn't know how it was going to end, but it ended pretty good. So that's all that matters. If you guys liked today's video, make sure to give it a big, thick thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thank you guys so much for getting me to 600 subscribers. Um, I am beyond thankful for everyone who has subscribed. If you guys want to see more tutorials, just let me know down in the comments. Um, this was very new to me, so sorry if it was bad. Um, I don't usually do tutorials. See you guys in my next video. Peace. Bye. Now.